everybody happy? สบายจังอ๋อคนนี้ลุงเนี่ยมาปอน Amen. Well, it's a great honor for us to be here in Cambodia. คือเจ๊กตะยูระบักยมได้ในขนมปังเตกัมไปเจ๊จมูกลุงเนี่ยมาปอนอ๋อคนนี้ We've come a long way to be a part of the hundred-year celebration of the gospel. ยืงมันมองอบอสาโตมรดกดำนังหล่อมรดกชนำ Did anybody come? มีมีประมาณนี้ได้บ้านได้โจรม Wasn't it good to worship God in the open air? ที่การละอ๋อที่ได้ยังทวายมังกรปรางในกระไลเนี่ยบางจมห้อ Twenty thousand people. กูมีนพายจีบปีเมินเนี่ย Amazing. Let's congratulate your pastor. สมอบอสาโตรอลูกคู่กูมีละมาเนี่ย And the organizing committee. Thank you so much. ให้สมัยบางคณะกรรมการออกคุณชันอันดัมยัสคอมมอนทั้งทั้งว้าสมอคุณพุกเกอ I'm a beautiful Jonathan is 17, almost 18. Jonathan, đ ọ n bơi chết cho đầm bảy hai. And he is single. Hey, no, no, live in a lie day. So we are praying for a Cambodian wife. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, đến thang. Ah, rồi mà phải cọt miên phải đi về để chui chun chít cầm bị chia. So come and see me after church. Ba, về sân để chọn đắng ở sông một tẹt tôm mới khiêm một tòa bì chôm chọp. Amen. Poor Amen. Jonathan. And um, and then we've got our friend Rebecca who's travelling as well. Come stand up, Rebecca. Thank you. Rebecca. Well, we are blessed to be here in New Life. ยังมีนประปอนะเดียวมีนวัดเดียวมีนในกรมจนมชีวิตใหม่ This is a great church. นี่คือจะกรมจนมดาละอ๋อมันแต่ And I believe that God is going to use this church from strength to strength. ยิ่งเชื่อเชื่อท่าพระเจ้ามาจากหนึ่งปลายกรมจนมนี่ลางปีกำลังมวยตะการกำลังมวยจิต And Pastor, I, I believe that God has given me a word for a ch- for a church today. Uh, And the word that God has given me is that it is now limitless what God can do in Cambodia. Uh, uh, I, f- I felt like on Friday night when we were worshiping God under the open skies. c a p i t i s o p l e a y n e h a n o t i m t s r a The God is saying there is no roof, no no ceiling to what God can do. It's limitless. คือพระองค์มันเปรียบเหมือนตูทักเหมือนดมบูลนามุยได้แข็งขี้ยืงนุ่งลายคือเอาไว้ได้พระองค์ทั่วคือปัจจิขมิ่นได้กำหนดสอ I would like to tell you a little bit about my story before we uh, preach. ขิมจังนายนอมลูกดาวลูกในบอมโพนัมปีเรื่องระบักขิมมุนเปรียบขิมใจใจเนเปรียบเหมือนตู I'm the youngest of eight in my family. ขิมคือจะโกนเปิดได้เมียนบอมโพนจำนวนประมาณเนี่ย And when I was 13 years old, I had leukemia, cancer. Cancer in my body. c a l p i c u m i n w e i g h t by Shnam. c a l u k u k u m i n r o k m a h a r i no k n o n g k r o p c h i m I was brought up in a very religious, traditional church. k u m t r a b a n r i c h a m r a n t u m t h o t l a n g no k n o n g k r o m k u s a d a l k a n s a s n a We heard about God, but had no relationship with God. y u n g man, l u k i n the yam pi pressure m a j a p a n d a on min t e m n a t u m n o n g chimoy trong te. Many people in Cambodia now know the word Jesus. มีนมนุษย์จิตชาในขนมประเทศกัมพูชาอาจจะในเยปิไทยพระเยซูคือกิลือกิดังแต่ many people who don't know him yet as Lord and Savior. ประเทศจีพวกกิอัตโนมันสกอลถ้าพระองค์จีพระองค์มาจัดสังครูระบักเกนลายเต I was that person. เขียนคือจีมนุษย์แบบนู้นไอ้ And so now I am sick. อะไรนี่เป็นนุ้คือเขียนบันชื่อ Thirteen years old. ขนมกาวได้มีนวัยดับใบชั่ม Two years into my sickness. ปีชั่มแต่เขียนบันชื่อบันดังทักเขียนเมียนจมือหนึ่ง A pretty girl asked me to come to church. ให้เมียนใส่สะอาดมาเนี่ยพอบวชเขียนเตอร์ไปเฮีย So I said yes. ให้เกิดเกิดสะอาดให้ยมทักเตอร์ได้เลยเตอร์มวยกอด And I think a lot of you young men are coming to church because of all the young pretty girls in church. ให้กำลังกำลังในที่นี้มาไปเฮียมสวนมาเมื่อเคยใส่ใส่สะอาดสะอาดในไปเฮียเยอะง่ายจำมือ After a while, the pastor says to me, "Andrew, do you want to become a Christian?" 
បន្ទាប់ពីទៅវិហារអរិយៈពេលមរិយៈក្រោយមកគឺគ្រូកុងវាលគាត់បានសួរខ្ញុំថាអ៊ែនឌ្រូអ៊ែនឌ្រូឯ
I'm telling you again, prayer is powerful. On the very on that very day, the doctor said that something had changed in my life. And that the cancer had shifted in my life. From death to life. My story is that God saved me and He healed me. We've traveled a long way to tell you tonight. God wants to save you and He wants to heal you. And to the believers here, now He wants to use you to save others and to heal others. Hãy and I'm, I'm going to ask Pastor just to read the uh, passage out just so that we can save time, yeah? Mm -hmm. Do you want to read uh, Matthew yeah. uh, 8, 5 to 13? Yeah. Matthew 8, 5 to 13. Yeah. 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 ទាំងឈឺចុកចាប់យ៉ាងខ្លាំងប្រងមានព្រះបន្ទូលទៅគាត់ថាខ្ញុំនឹងទៅមើលគាត់ឲ្យជាបញ្ជាគេហើយមានកូនទីហ៊ានៅក្រុមបញ្ជាខ្ញុំ <cười> ខ្ញុំមិនដែរឃើញណាណាមានជំនឿបែបនេះនៅស្រុកអ៊ីស្រាអែលឡាយខ្ញុំសម្ប្រាប់ឲ្យអ្នករស់គ្នាអ្នករ
Friend, God wants you to live. He wants you to have abundance. But the devil does not want you to succeed in life. He does not want you to be saved. He does not want you to be healed. He wants you to remain the same, beaten, broken, depressed, lonely like I was, sick and dying. But through Jesus, you can have abundant life. Amen. Amen. ហើយជីវិតនោះពេញបរបស់ផងរីអាយមានសាតាំងវិញវាមកគិតតាពីដាក់បន្ទុកដាក់បញ្ហាដាក់គំនាបឲ្យយើងជាប់ផ្ទះ
Why is he saying that? Because before this moment, Jesus had to be in the room for healings to take place. He had to put his hand on somebody. He had to talk to somebody. But now this man is saying, speak a word. And healing can come. If it was me. And my son was sick. My precious, good looking, single son. If he was sick in hospital. And I came to your great pastor. I said, my, my son is sick. And he said to me. Andrew, we will come and God will heal him. I'll would be so happy. We would, I, would, I would get your pastor in the car. We'd drive to Starbucks, get a coffee on the way. Uh, I would be so happy, amen. Because God was going to heal my son. I have to be honest. I love your pastor. But I'm not going to say to him. Just speak a word. No! I'm going to drag him. We're going to the hospital. But this man had faith. He had something different going on. And the Bible says that he marveled. He had not seen so much faith. Not, not seen anybody so much faith as that. I wonder if the worship team could join us just for a little bit, just to play. Yeah. Because it says that in verse 13, and then he said to the centurion, Go your way as you have believed it will be done. And he was healed that very hour. He says, as you believed. Everybody said, as you believed. Say it again, as you believed. There was something inside of the centurion. Okay, let me tell you one more story. Luke 8, verse 40 and verse 9 to 49. to 49. ទទួលព្រះអង្គព្រោះគេចាំមើលផ្លូវព្រះអង្គគ្រប់គ្រប់គ្នាមានអ្នកទទួលខុសត្រូវលើសាលាប្រជុំម្នាក់ឈ្ម
Paul ជាអាជាយព្រះពោះព្រះអង្គស្រាប់តែជាមឈប់ធ្លាក់មួយរំពេចព្រះយេស៊ូមានព្រះបន្ទូថានរណាពលខ្ញុំគេប្រកាយគ
There were many sick people. And they decided to bring the sick people because the disciple Peter was about to pass by. We have to understand that Jesus has now gone to heaven. The Holy Spirit is now available for all. Here in Israel, Israel, Cambodia, Cambodia, and New Zealand, Australia, New Zealand, Australia, everywhere. It's limitless. They bring the cripple and they put him on the sides of the street. Many, many crippled people. The crowd was many. The crowd was many, many people. And they begin to pass by. Could you imagine? The crippled people. He cannot walk, he cannot stand. He can see Peter in the distance. So much noise. And the Bible says that his shadow. Friends, his shadow. There's no Jesus can put his hand on you. He can't speak a word for you. But maybe a disciple can heal me now. Maybe somebody who's been under three years of training. From the master. Maybe he can heal me. Somebody who's been under his internship. Under the Lord's shadow, as it were. Under the Lord's shadow. He's here. Can you imagine? The crowd, the crowd too many. But he sees, he sees a shadow. The Bible says that he, he touches the shadow. Of the disciple Peter. His legs. His legs. He can feel his legs. The warm, I feel strength coming back. He tries, he tries to stand. He stands for the first time. In his life. He turns to his friends. Just touch the shadow. Touch the shadow. There's healing in the shadow. And the Bible says that all were healed. Friends, why were they healed? Because somebody believed that now it's limitless. That God can heal us in many, many different ways. That the pastor can anoint you with oil. And the Bible teaches us to do so. To place our hands on you. 
But I believe that God can heal somebody in the village far away tonight. Because of our prayers. Because of our prayer. Because of what we believe. Anything can change now. The Holy Spirit is available for us. And I believe on Friday night when we're standing in the open air. Praising God. That God is saying to us in Cambodia. Let's believe again. That it's limitless. That God can heal Cambodia. God can save Cambodia. Thousands and thousands of churches. Miracle after miracle after miracle. This is our hour. This is our hour. We are going to believe God. Amen. Amen. Give God a big clap. I want to pray for you. So just close your eyes. And tonight, if you're here today, and tonight, and for whatever reason, you're not walking with God. Perhaps you were working, walking with God. But you've fallen away. Or perhaps you've never asked Jesus to come into your life. But tonight you want to pray that prayer that I prayed when I was a young man. I would love to pray for you tonight. And I believe tonight's prayer has power. And so tonight, if you are here, you're saying, I want to rededicate my life to the Lord or give my life to Jesus for the first time. I want you so I can see who I'm praying for for you to lift your hand strong lift it high so I can see ແລະອະໄດຊື່ພະອົງສັກສົມເລືອກໄດ້ໄດ້ຄືມາຍເຄີຍບາດເຮົາຢູ່ໃນປະເທດໃດຢູ່ໃນປະເທດໃດຢູ
อยเมียนสไรเพียบปีอมเปิบามขนองประเนียมพระองค์มาจ้าพระเยซูคริสต์เอเมนเอเมนเจ้าหน้า